Several state and local agencies are investigating after allegations of inappropriate behavior towards a cadet at a local program for troubled teenagers. Now, these allegations are coming out of the Florida Youth Challenge Academy. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris joining us live with more on these allegations. Janice? And this is a program that helps troubled teens, but what we're learning is that it involved a cadet and allegedly two other people that used to work for this organization. They specifically worked for a contractor and they were known to be very close or at least work in very close corners with these cadets and be leaders or examples to them. But according to these allegations for this situation, that was not the case. Florida Youth Challenge Academy is a program that helps troubled teens, but earlier this year, allegations of misconduct surfaced. According to a concerned parent, a cadre or an employee was having an inappropriate relationship with a cadet. So I reached out to Florida Youth Challenge Academy. In a statement, they confirmed the Florida Department of Military Affairs is aware of an ongoing investigation involving two Athena contractors who previously worked at the Florida Youth Challenge Academy. While we cannot comment on active investigations, we can confirm that the accused individuals have been banned from the FLYCA campus. The two former workers were sourced from a company called Athena Staffing. So we went to their office on the south side to find out more about the two workers. Then we called. If you know the four-digit extension of the party you were trying to reach, you can dial it now. But no one answered the phone. FLCYA confirmed this matter has been referred to the appropriate state and local authorities for due process. The DMA and FLYCA leadership are committed to cooperating with law enforcement for the duration of this investigation and will continue doing everything possible to ensure the safety of our FLYCA cadets. According to the Department of Military Affairs, a mother learned about the inappropriate relationship from her daughter who was attending the camp. The mother then reported it back to the program. The alleged incident happened in the spring of 2022. This program is part of the National Guard Youth Program with over 20 sites around the country. Its focus is to help youth get back on track and gain high school credits or GED. It appears the same company, Athena, is still recruiting others to work for Florida Youth Challenge Academy in Stark. And it's important to note, I spoke with a member of the Department of Military specifically this afternoon who said that they would send us more information by 3 p.m. today. We are still waiting for that information, but as soon as it becomes available and we get more details about these allegations, we'll bring those to you immediately. In the meantime, if you know of anyone that may have been potentially a victim or negatively impacted at this program, reach out to us. We'd like to hear from you. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.